What a privilege it is to talk about this urban modern retreat that we built for an amazing young family in East Vancouver. This family desired a three-level craftsman home that fit into their neighborhood. We were really excited to be brought into this project by the client and to work with Clay Construction. The clients were such a nice family, very collaborative, so the project from start to finish was team effort. Health was very important to them, so they wanted to have a home that was going to be healthy for their growing family. The existing home had a lot of issues, mold, mildew, and asbestos and other hazardous materials. So we had to remove those and we separated the house as we took it down and all was recycled. After excavation, we installed four inches of clear crush rock. And this is really important because it acts as a capillary break to prevent water from wicking up to the foundation. For this home, we chose insulated concrete forms or ICF. The real advantage of ICF is that we were able to achieve an effective R30 walls for the basement and the benefit for them is their basement will be warmer. It's going to be healthier because there's no buildup of moisture in the wall assembly and you're not going to have mold and mildew in behind the drywall. For our clients, this was going to be a lifetime home. So they want a home that was going to be resilient and durable and that meant we had to make decisions at the framing stage. We used the eye joist because it's going to be flatter. There's a wider top flange, so we get more glue on there. We increase the thickness for plywood that is always glued and screwed to the joist. And that meant a floor assembly that's going to be very quiet. Our clients did not want squeaky, bouncy stairs, so we use laminated veneer lumber for the joists. So these stairs are going to be solid and quiet as you walk up them. We recommended for this home that we would use exterior rigid insulation. With the insulation on the outside and continuous, you reduce the thermal bridging. Another huge benefit is because the insulation is on the outside of the wall, your sheathing on the inside then remains warmer and therefore you'll have less condensation and moisture in your wall assembly. These clients desired an energy efficient home. So the low hanging fruit is air tightness. To have success with air tightness, you need to pay attention to the details. We used a mid construction blower door test to pressurize the home, look for leaks and we sealed them. Not only is this home constructed in a way that it's durable, efficient, healthy and comfortable, it is beautifully designed. The clients had a very clear vision of what they wanted their home to be like. They wanted it to be warm and inviting light and airy. We describe this house as a urban modern style, which is clean, contemporary, very straight lines, but then it has elements of industrial design, it has vintage elements, and it has craftsman elements as well. The powder room is off the entry and the vanity wall is the only wall that's visible from the hallway. So we decided to make that a feature. Rather than putting the sink in the center, we actually centered it on the door. We floated the vanity so that you could see the whole wall and hung a multi-light off to the side. The multi-light is great when you have a tile because it's light hanging at different heights so it really illuminates it and really gives it a lot of texture. The tile looks and feels like wood and really creates that light airy feeling. The sink is really a feature in this space. It's made from recycled jute and cement and has the aesthetic of concrete. The space planning of the home was really thoughtful. The design of the kitchen really makes the space seem larger than it is. The cooking wall at the back becomes the feature wall. The island floats in front of it. The countertops are quartz, but look and feel like concrete. The backsplash is classic herringbone. The cabinetry speaks to the craftsman style. And the expanse of stainless steel on the side-by-side -side fridge freezer adds that more industrial element to the space. The thing that really makes a small kitchen work is to have a really efficient pantry. It's barely noticeable from the main spaces and it really does provide an abundance of functional storage, allowing the kitchen to remain minimalist even at busy meal times or while entertaining. In an open floor plan, it is sometimes hard to define spaces, so the ceiling detail over the dining table creates a frame in which the pendant lights can become a feature. 
the clients decided to use a room divider that they had in their previous home as art. It looks so amazing. And when you're sitting at that table, it's very intimate. The nano doors to the deck are the client's favorite thing about the space and they really expand the living areas and means that a dinner party can seamlessly spill out onto the deck and it still feel like you're in the same space. To achieve this, we install the outside decking at the same elevation as the interior floors, separated by the folding doors, which opens up to a wide expanse and it makes the outdoors accessible. The clients have an amazing collection of Sid Dickens plaques and the feature wall in the family room was the perfect place to display those on either side of the fireplace in a grid, creating that symmetry that always looks so great. The cladding on the fireplace looks and feels like wood, but it's very light and airy and blends really well with the walls behind so that those Sid Dickens plaques still remain the feature. The stairs are a combination of two styles. The post at the bottom is quite craftsman in form and the black spindles are a little bit more on the industrial side. The kids' bath is a Jack and Jill style so that two kids can be using the room at the same time. The toilet and tub are in one room and double sinks in the other. Classic white subway with dark grout really tied it into the floor, which is a porcelain tile that looks and feels like metal. The master bedroom is at the end of the hallway. It creates a really amazing focal point because of the vaulted ceiling and the oversized fixture. To achieve this, we use scissor trusses to increase the ceiling height for a beautiful vault. The client's furniture in the master bedroom is really quite vintage. Then we have a light fixture that's oversized and really quite industrial. And then we have the light, airy, contemporary backdrop. The barn door on the master closet acts as a barrier as well as it's an art piece. It really suits the urban modern style well. The master ensuite is both functional and very beautiful, just really light and airy. It has a soaker tub at one end, a double vanity, a separate water closet. The end of the ensuite is all glass with the shower behind. So while the parents are getting ready, the kids can be playing with water in the shower. For a busy young family with two kids, having a low maintenance home was very important. So we chose hardy siding, concrete front steps, and composite decking on the back. The clients were really great to work with. They were super collaborative, and really the home is a reflection of them. It really feels like we were just guiding them to create the backdrop for what they already knew their home would be. We are proud of this home and the relationship that we developed with this family.